Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. <clears throat> uh, what we have here is, I don't know the name of this amp, <laughs> but it is a two, uh, 1446 uh, amplifier. Neat little, neat little thing. So I got something I hadn't seen yet in these type uh, uh, pre, uh, I ain't gonna say factory made, but I guess you say proprietary made, you know, non non home brew. I guess you can say um, the high and low switch here. I don't know if there at one point in time was a high, uh, an actual real high and low in here. There's a possibility. Uh, sorry about that in the background. There's a possibility. But what this actually does here is when you have it on low, this variable is enabled, okay? And when you have it on high, it bypasses the variable. So the variable is not enabled and it's just flowing straight through. So that's a pretty neat little, pretty neat little function there. Preamp works just fine. Here's what we're working in, inside. Uh, Went ahead and cleaned her up really well. Cleaned all the flux out of her like I usually do with uh, uh, amps that I repair like this. Uh, had, had to do a little bit to it. Um, basically, somebody had hooked this amplifier up backwards. And it had... It had completely blow, it had completely blew the ground portion right over here in this area off the board. So I went ahead and repaired that ground portion there. And um, went ahead and threw a choke right here going to the output transformer. I didn't really like the way that was done, feeding the power to there. So I went ahead and done that. Went ahead and put two uh, SD1446s in here. Okay, they're not new, but they are in great condition. Perfectly fine. Uh, replaced the 10 ohm that was blown uh, previously. And uh, as you can see, I did replace the LEDs with blue ones. I always like that look of blue on, on black there. Uh, there's a few things I had to do to the preamp. Um, I, I done that quite a while ago. I can't remember exactly what I did, but the preamp works now. And the last thing that, uh, couldn't figure out, but I finally did, um, is that the relay was bad. Uh, two of the contacts wasn't touching when it actuated on the antenna side. So I went ahead and threw in a brand spanking new relay. And, uh, I mean, that's about it. Uh, that I can see and uh, this thing is nice and clean and if you ask me it's better than it was before it was hooked up backwards and that is the way that I try to do uh, all these repairs man anything that I can see that I can beef up or improve I do because uh, make the best out of it you know that's the way I look at it make the best out of it while you're in it <laughs> all right this is make a nice little driver for somebody, a little driver for an 8-pill or 6-pill, maybe even a 10 or a 12. Um, you can adjust this variable here, man, and I'll show you that in a minute. You can make that thing do about 100 watts. Turn it on up to about uh, 200. It's got a nice little control. Go ahead and demonstrate now. We're going to be uh, using a bench radio right now, which is doing 4 watts RMS, about uh, two twenty watts peak. Just to show that. Ten watt slug. Oh, yeah. a little bit less than four going through this amp. Oh, yeah. so it's right there, almost four, a little less, about three, three and a half. That's RMS is what the radio is doing. Okay, we'll turn that back. Alrighty, we'll flip her on. I'm not even going to, like I said, on high. If you turn this variable all the way up and then put it on high, 
there's no difference because when you turn the variable all the way up, it is high. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a neat little feature, but there again, it's not needed. That's why I think that um, it, there was a high-low switch in here at some point. And I think somebody just drilled out right here in between the power and receive here and added this variable, which is a cool little mod. I like that. I like that. I like having full control, you know, instead of just two options. That's just my preference. All right. I'm going to turn this down. And I'm going to ease it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm going to ease this Oh dear. Oh, I'm easing it up to 100 watts. Oh dear. A little bit more. Oh dear. See, that's exactly 100 watts. Okay. I'm going to turn it all the way up. By the way, we're on the 1,000 watt slug here. Yeah. Flash on. So that 100 is 1,000. Oh, yeah. that's all the way up almost 200 watts PEP with the drive that I'm putting into it all right let's turn it on RMS oh yeah oh yeah all right that's right there about 50 RMS here's your input tune 10 watt slug Oh, yeah. Pretty good input tune. Very good. All righty. Just for the heck of it, we're going to go ahead and hook up the hot radio and double our input from 4 watts RMS to 8. And for this hot radio that I'm using right now, it's a little stronger than the one you've seen me hooking up to. I think I might start using this one. Still stick man modified, but this one actually done a little more. So I had to actually go inside this power supply right here and turn the voltage down even lower. And the reason why I like this radio right here a little better is because it's got a good receiver in it. This one, the receiving this one just flat out sucks. So I can show preamps working a little better. Keep the preamp on. Off. So this preamp's working great. Alrighty, I'll turn that back down. Alrighty. RMS. Oh, yeah, doggy. 100 bird. 100 bird. That's a big increase. That shows you right there, this thing wants more drive than the hot one the, than the bench radio was giving it. To have an increase of 50 bird up to 100 RMS, a double increase like that, yeah, it, it, it could have been driven a lot more than what I drove it with uh, the first time. All right, here's Pete. Oh, yeah. All right, about 250 watts peak, it looks like. So she is working good, man. That's good for a 1446 box. You can get two fourteen forty six is doing about two fifty up to about three hundred. They're doing good, but uh, with the one hundred watts RMS, so I have two of these bad boys. Beautiful, beautiful. That's working good, man. So that was eight watts RMS peaking around thirty thirty five watts. Getting on home. All right, nice clean fourteen forty six. Class C amplifier, all repaired up, cleaned up to the brim. Off the eBay it goes. Gatekeeper said it, and we're good and we're gone.